Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having issues with the services startup type being grayed out on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So sometimes Windows will actually protect specific services from modification, which is why they'll be grayed out, so just keep that in mind. Another reason they may be grayed out is that there's different dependencies. So if one service is set to automatic, another service has to be turned on as well. So there can be a domino effect in that sense. You may also lack administrator permissions. So if you're not using an administrator account, that's another reason why you might not be able to modify those services. And then finally, you can always explore there could be corrupt system files or viruses that are preventing you from modifying such services. So different options in there to consider. Generally, there's a reason why it's grayed out, so just keep that in mind. But pretty straightforward process, guys. First thing I would suggest doing, open up the search menu and just type in services. Best match, you're going back with services. Go ahead and right-click on it and select run as administrator. And then see if you're able to modify those services. If not, something else we can try here as well would be to just go ahead and open up the search menu again. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that is concluded, go ahead and close out of here. You want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.